safety. 400 TV personnel cry baby to Hollywood studios about safety in pro-life states. By John Nolte on July 30, 2022. The headline reads, More than 400 TV showrunners demand Netflix, Disney and more offer safety protocols in anti-abortion states. But I think we all know what it really means. More than 400 fully grown adults, who also happen to be wealthy, helpless, neurotic, and angry crybabies, got together to demand the Hollywood studios make them feel safe in anti-abortion states. Why? Because leftists are weak, spoiled, perpetual victims who always have tantrums like this whenever things don't go their way. Get a load of this. The letter, obtained by Variety, is signed by A-list talent such as Shonda Rhimes, Issa Rae, Amy Sherman Palladino, Natasha Lyonne, Ava DuVernay and many more. It puts the U.S.'s biggest content creators on notice that the companies need to outline specific protections for those working in states that have outlawed abortion in the wake of the Supreme Court's Dobbs decision, which overturned Roe v. Wade. It is unacceptable to ask any person to choose between their human rights and their employment, the letter reads in part. The letter escalates the vexed issue of what companies such as Netflix and Disney should do with productions in states with anti-abortion laws that were triggered by Dobbs, such as Georgia, Louisiana, and Texas. The writers are demanding published policies for how the companies will subsidize employees' travel to obtain abortions, as well as how employee privacy will be protected. They want protocols for medical care for ectopic pregnancies and other pregnancy complications that require medical treatment. They're demanding criminal and civil indemnification for anyone helping an employee obtain an abortion. The emphasis is mine. Can you believe this? What are these people, animals who can't control themselves? You know, not getting pregnant is a lot easier than getting pregnant. The letter is also a lie that claims that topic pregnancies are outlawed in certain states when they are not. My favorite, though, is requesting the studios guarantee criminal and civil indemnification for anyone helping an employee obtain an abortion. Yeah, I know these billion dollar multinational corporations enjoy all kinds of power. But at least for now, they do not have the power to offer protections from criminal and civil laws. Fortunately, we haven't yet reached the inevitable Robocop stage of our society. How about a little self-control? How about a little birth control if you can't control yourself? How about driving a couple of hundred miles on your day off to a state that will allow you to butcher your innocent child? You could also fly to another state. It's not like you don't have the money. You see, but these babies see none of this as an option because big, spoiled, helpless, vindictive babies such as these are always determined to make their problems your problems. Their childish need to lash out at an unfair world means they have to crash through your window and complicate your life rather than just deal with things on their own, which is what normal, mature, strong adults do. Overall, though, this is blackmail, a way to bully the studios into blacklisting states that have had the gall not to allow these monsters to butcher their innocent children. The goal here is to make life so difficult that the studios choose other states to work in. This will almost certainly succeed. The good news is that we have one more example of just how weak and pathetic left-wing women are. Oh, yeah, you've come a long way, baby. P.S. These states want to save your child. You want to kill it. So whose safety is in actual jeopardy here?